In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to get the official Citra emulator rights on your device. So by the end of this video, you should be able to play any 3DS title games on your PC without facing any error. So without much ado, let's get started. Now let me say something small about Citra emulator. Citra is a Nintendo 3DS emulator which allows you to play 3DS title games on your PC or Android without owning the actual console. And what makes Citra cool is that it is packed with features that will make your gaming experience even more enjoyable. Meaning, with Citra emulator, you can play your favorite games like Pokemon, Super Mario and Legend of Zelda. Now, let's dive into the installation process. Okay, so now we are here for downloading and install a citra emulator so um, i will waste your time what you have to do is open your browser and then open this link which says citra-emulator.com visit this link over here make sure visit this link over here and then from here press on the download this one which says download and then here you should see something like windows mac linux android now what this simply means is that wait i'm going to explain all this now this one if you are on windows you have to press on this to download for windows if you are mac or if you are mac os user you go for this one and if you are linux user then you go for this one and for the android users you have to select this one which is android so you will be going with the android version if you are android user now here like this for windows um because i'm using windows at that now so i'll be going with the windows so i'll just press on it and then in the next phase of after selecting the windows you should see something like this download latest etc for windows and then under you can see something like download old or final version now this one is the normal citra and this one is the nightly version so you are you have two options to choose between the nightly version and the normal one now when you look here like this the release date for the normal one is on the 29th september 2024 and which is latest which is the latest version for me as at now and the nightly release is on march 2024 and i don't know the dates that you are going to watch this video and when pablo mk updates this you are going to see a different date over here so don't expect the day should be 29 september because it's going to be updated in the near future so what i have to do is i recommend you guys on going for this one going for this one so what you have to do is just press on download which is this one and then here you should download it for you just press on it and it will start downloading i've already downloaded the file and it is this one over here so after downloading the citra you should see something like this citra windows blah 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 now after getting the emulator left with one program that we need to download because this emulator comes as in the form of zip format so a zip file will need a program to extract it and we can use program like 7zip or winra so for the sake of this tutorial i'll be going with winra now open your browser and then visit visit win-ra.com visit the official page of winra and then you download the latest version of winra I mean download and install it after download open it just yes install install done so after you are done installing winra and you right click on the application you should see something like this in the menu you should see some you should see winra in the menu like this and this simply means that you've already installed WinRA. Okay, so now we are done installing the WinRA. What you have to do is we have to extract the emulator. To do that, you have to right click it, selecting WinRA, select the third one which is extract to. 
and it should be done now open the uh, open the folder and then you should see three files like this one is citra.exe and the other one is citra-qt so just execute this 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 file i mean the second one just execute the citra qt just open this file like this and then it is going to open the emulator we now have the emulator and our games are not appearing and when you look here it says double click to add a new folder to the game list what you are going to do is just double click it and then open your storage locate the folder that contain your 3ds games or ROM file after selecting the folder just press on or just select this one we say select folder now here like this i only have four games which is not all my games so to show all your games just right click this and then make sure you tick in scan subfolders make sure this one is ticked so after ticking in scan folders all your games should appear here now head over to the emulation settings like this press on configure and then here you can set up the ui to your preferred liking better still head over to the graphics section and then under internal resolution if you have a high-end device or high-end pc then i recommend you going for four times native or five times native i mean i recommend you guys going between four five and six but if you have a low-end device then choosing the three times native is reasonable so for the sake of this tutorial i'll be going with the five times native and then click on advanced here now under graphics api session this is graphics api it is on opengl make sure you set it on vulcan and then under physical device you choose your external graphics card so i have 1070 ti in my pc so i will select that one after that you press on ok head over to the emulation settings again configure and then this time around go to the controller session now under the controller session like this this setup of the controller is very easy what you have to do is make sure your controller is connected to your pc and then after that just press on auto map like this press ok and then press on any key on your controller after that it will automatically map all the settings to your controller after that just press on ok so i think that's all for today and if you really like this video please subscribe to my channel and also subscribe to my second channel as well we shall meet again thank you